Welcome back to the show, everyone. We are at Lifetime Fitness with Abby Wainer. And Abby, we're going to discuss dominant post players and how to defend them. We have a lot of post players in this league that deserve some respect when they get the ball down low. Absolutely. And we heard Coach uh, Gordy Presnell of Boise State say that was going to be a problem for his team coming into this conference is that there's a lot of those longer forwards. When you look at the 6'1", 6'2", players who are really athletic and can score around the paint, but also who have a really nice back-to-the-basket game. Whether you look at San Martin and what she was able to do against TCU, she went off for 28 points or Chandra, Chandra Sewell getting 26 points at the pit. Lauren Lenhart in her own right has been playing very well for Boise State. So you can imagine that in a lot of film sessions, a lot of scattering reports, there's a lot of talk from head coaches to their forwards about how to defend post players. And I've had a chance to, cop to talk to a couple of coaches and it all depends on, on their own personal theory, what's worked well for them. And also a lot of it is about the weak side help and where that's coming from. So. There, there are three basic ways, and uh, that's definitely something we can break down here today. Well, as we break down the three ways, I'm going to be Andrea Lloyd. How about that? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, time now to break down how you guard that dominant post player. Well, and there's three different ways, and I've had a chance to talk to a couple of the coaches in the conference, and it all depends on what's successful for you. But a lot of it, again, we've harped a lot on help side defense. So it's not only about this post player, but it's about the way the rest of the team helps in that defense. So the first way, okay, we're going to pretend like I am much taller than just 5'11". Oh, okay, okay. okay. So Mar's going to be the post player. Um, Tucker's on my team, and then we've got Nick as the other offensive player for Marius. So we we hear Andrea talking a lot about doing your work early. Mm -hmm. Now, she knows much more about post defense than I do, but I'm going to pretend. <laughs> doing your work early, that means if Marius is a good post player, he knows that he can bury me early, okay? And right here, if he were to get that shot, it'd be an automatic layup. So doing my work early means pushing him out of the lane, okay? With this leg, with my forearm, okay? So I got, I got him out of the lane early. I'm just playing typical behind defense. Ball comes in, okay? I know that I'm much bigger than Marius, let's pretend, and that he's not gonna be able to shoot right over me. The other part of this, Tucker knows that he's not guarding a dangerous shooter right now. If he were, he wouldn't be able to help as much. But again, we've talked about this dig in. Tucker's going to dig in here, see if he can maybe swipe, be that pesky guard that gets a steal. That's what he has to be careful of. Anytime that a guard turns, turns their back, that offensive player is cutting. So he's got to be able to, to know that he can react to that. So that's just typical playing behind in the post. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is three quarter uh, front. It's not a full front, it's just a three quarter front. So we're going to have Will passing out here. Tucker still is on my team. Nick is the opposing um, post player. So pretend like I know that Marius has a really good right-handed shot going over his left-handed shoulder. Well, we're going to talk about that as a team before the game. It's going to be on our scouting report to take away this left shoulder. So what that means, I want to get one foot in front of Marius and one hand in the passing line. So it's not a direct pass into the post. Okay, so I'm playing defense three-quarter quarter, three quarter front right here. Say that ball does get in. Tucker is already in help so we could get here on the trap. That's when that weak side guard has to drop down as well so that they can't make that extra pass to the post. And that's something that we've talked about before this. So that's the th three quarter front. And the last one is just a full frontal, OK? Um, a Portia Torrance can play like this, maybe a Chandra Sewell, a really athletic kind of a four player, maybe Jamie Smith, where they know they have a post player on them. OK, I'm just going to sit right here. Get my hands up. A lot of times you can get a steal. If that ball goes up, sometimes I can jump up and grab that right away. Say I don't, it's the same concept again. Tucker has got to be sure that he's already in help side, OK? That ball comes in, I'm fronting, Tucker's there. We close that space down again. So three different ways uh, that we could shut down some of those dominant post players, and we're seeing a lot of those emerge in the conference right now. Well, there's a good look about how to defend those dominant post players in the paint. We're going to send it back to the studio, and I, I hope I made you proud, Andrea. Good job.